Okay. Recording a new episode. Going from chapter one to end. I'm actually in a fairly good mood today, if anybody was interested, so... Just a little stressed out, just trying to uh, get rid of some of that stress by playing a game, you know? So... Just uh, a lot of overwhelming stuff. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood? Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. So, alright, we are going to find that church. Let's take a look at our inventory, which is still filled with the fish, which we still need to sell. This is probably going to get complicated when we get downstairs, so... We're actually going to equip this grenade. We'll use that later, but for right now, if anybody was unfamiliar with this cutscene, or they didn't get through the game, or for whatever reason didn't play Project Ada, this may be new to you, so enjoy this as we're going back into the room we exited. As we can see, we tried to clear this before. A woman in red, somehow so familiar. If anybody has not played Resident Evil 2, then there's a good and a bad sort of twist to this, because there's a lot of throwbacks to Resident Evil 2 in this game. You may be familiar with a character in a red dress. Uh, if you're not, then, you know, we'll get into that later. I kind of gave it away earlier, but uh, we'll just, you know, pretend that didn't happen. Anyway, so, in order to make some room, because I do think we're going to get an extra herb down here. Hello, ugly. Anywho. So, obviously, what we're going to do is say hello to our friend in here, and then back away. And I know some of you are probably saying, well, that was such a waste, but I really do need space, and you're going to see why here in just a minute. Boom. So, grenade, one knife to the back, good, done, completed. As you can see, he was taking a tinkle. Guess they're somewhat civilized. And actually, it's funny if we... We're, we're going to come back to this in later playthroughs. This won't, It won't be the campaign, but it'll be like a side mission that comes up. Looks like people eat like normal humans. Sadler again. And wouldn't you know, we picked up another <laughs> incendiary grenade. Been trying to get rid of these, and they just keep showing up. Alright, so. I'm doing a lot better now. Man, I was just uh, a little overwhelmed earlier today, and... Uh, uh, for a very good reason, uh, just you know, kind of threw me off because so many people called, and you know, it was it was a good day. So I will take the brown chicken egg, which I cannot take because I have too much inventory. So you know what? We're gonna leave the brown chicken egg and forget about it. Uh, let's see if we can waste some ammunition here. Maybe free up a spot or two. And if not, we can throw a grenade because we will probably need it. Alright, we're just going to stand in this doorway here. As you can see, we have a chainsaw friend right here. Always fun. Give him a nice headshot just to let him know that we care. 
And this triggers the whole zombie affair going on here. I'm gonna go for two or two for one specials. As you know, I'm a sniper for my battlefield playthroughs, but you know, it's very good to always have at least two zombies in a sniper shot because we have a piercing ability on all rifles. And for those of you who are unfamiliar, if you shoot a pistol, it only goes to the first person. If they recoil, then yes, it causes, you know, everybody in the back to follow, but the bullet damage does not affect anybody behind said person. The sniper rifle acts differently by piercing and actually attacking people behind when they're shot. Like, the, the bullet goes through said person that we're attacking here. rifle actually does a considerable amount of damage. Uh, we're going to go back in here. Hopefully he's not running up on me. He probably is. There we go. Okay, music's done. We reload, which probably saves up a bunch of space for us. Very good. Got the ruby, which is another treasure. It's not a not a really important treasure. Um, it's mostly just a drop item to replace the 10,000 pesetas. But we'll uh, get into details into that later. Now, there are some nests. As you can see, there's a nest up there. But we do not want to trigger that quite yet because we still have zombie friends we have to deal with. And we triggered his wife, which is in the building. Oh, she even brought the kitchen knife. I'm sorry, that sounds like a sexist joke, but it's, it really is just a kitchen knife. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. So, I'm not faking, making fun of, you know, anybody here, but, you know, I just thought it was hilarious. Alright, and we're actually going to use the last two remaining sniper rifle bullets here. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, yeah, we're going to put it right there. There, that fixed our herb problem. And as you can see, we really need the large attaché case or to sell off these fish. Uh, we're going to try for two for ones again. Hopefully we don't trigger these guys, um, which we might. But, okay, going to wait for the arms. Boom, two. Okay, now they're going to line up. Uh, just to get rid of some shotgun shells, since I do have five bullets I can use before I have to... And again... Oh! Oh my goodness! She was, uh, still kicking and growing. Alright, well, that'll give me an excuse to use the egg here. And we'll examine the egg just to show you what it does. Restore partial health. We're just going to go ahead and eat it. Uh, I don't believe there are any rotten eggs in this game. However, that would have been a cool mechanic. In RE5, they had rotten eggs. And there was actually an achievement tied to collecting said eggs. But we won't worry about that. Now, we are going to go back for the nests, as we recall. Just before I for don't forget those, let's see. Alright, I think that's TMP ammo. It is. It's lovely. Uh, we're probably just going to sell those off. Um, again, I know people have preferences for the TMP ammo. I do not use it. I do not like it. It lowers my accuracy. It, you know, it does enough damage. I'll, I do enough damage of my own accuracy before I have to, you know, use a TMP. I mean, it, it, some people like it for the rapid fire and the large clip size, but me, I just have no desire to have it. And plus, when you reload a TMP, once you've uploaded its capacity to full, I believe it's 250 bullets in a clip, which pretty much just eliminates the entire need to even have the damn thing. Because you get the ammunition in, I think, 100 per two slots. So you basically just eliminated two and a half boxes of ammunition by reloading once you've emptied a clip. Alright, and we have a considerable amount of zombie here. And, no, we do not want the, uh... We're gonna start off with a regular frag grenade. 
Uh, I think there's a gentleman who's going to come off to my left here, but we'll see how that goes. I'm going to throw this. Probably not far enough. Okay, we did enough damage. Uh, we're going to go back to the pistol real quick. If they get closer, we're going to switch to the shotgun. But I don't see a large grouping of them, so I think we're okay for the moment. Alright, and now is the time. Again, make sure you have the shotgun. And as you can see, they didn't bunch together, which would have been optimal. But, you know, as long as we keep them at somewhat of a distance, you're going to be okay. Nope, got to reload. And again, I have shotgun shells for... That'll last a while. Rifle ammo, which we can reload our rifle with. Okay. We're actually going to go back to our pistol, just so we don't waste all of our ammunition on that. Nope, that was a idiot move by my hand, by, by myself. Closer. Sometimes that knife hits, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends where the hitbox is on the, or the uh, shit. I don't know what I'm saying. I'll, I'll get back to it in a minute. Ooh, another flash grenade. Looks like I'm doing okay on the inventory. Again, just you know, I have a plethora of full health items, so I'm not too worried about using those. So damage is not an issue at this point. It will be later, but um, until I get a larger attached A case, I mean, I'm okay with using one or two around just to free up some space. Looks like the chicken laid an egg over here. Oh, there's a guy on the roof. I forgot about that. Let's see if we can get him to come down and say hi. Scared our chicken friend. Nice in the butt. Somebody's still around, the music's still going. I just do not know where. Um, again, I like to kill all of the zombies in the area just to make sure that I'm free to roam and item collect and all that. And we're going to take a look at our, um, our treasure map after we're done here just to show the progress we've made in the last two chapters here. Or sub-chapters, whatever you want to call them. I think they're probably... Oh, there he is. I'm stupid. Maybe that'll trigger him to walk towards the edge or something. Hopefully. That is one of the things about this game, like it's stuck in this over the shoulder view, like you cannot control the camera enough to actually, you know, move it down or up or anything like that. Like you can partially move it, but it's not really a big issue here. So we're going to check the buildings again just to make sure we didn't miss anything. I don't think anything changes from the previous incidences, like there should still be nothing in here. Uh, still, no. Yep, the boxes are still broken. The windows are still broken. Um, I think we're actually okay. No treasures, no nothing. Again, this is an area that we can come back to, and you know, if we missed anything, unfortunately, there's no treasures here, which would have been, you know, something like important. But as you can see. That was my previous run off to the off to the upper area here and where I'm centering the feed. You can see those are the initial treasures. Um, 
one was the beer stein, the other was the pearl pendant or something of that like. Um, over here was the farmhouse area where Luis was, where I found him and unlocked him, and that's where you get the red cat's eye. And again, if I'm reviewing this and you already know, you know, that's, that's cool. You can go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. Um, let's see. I believe this area was where we woke up when we were knocked out. That was the mask. This was the brass pocket watch. And we are now back in the village. And as you can see, we have the key to the door on the right. So we're going to use said door. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff to sell. Especially my fish friends, which I do not want any longer. Oh, see, I can't even take the handgun ammo. It's that bad. Okay, uh, what we're going to do is then we're going to reload our rifle so we can free up a slot for <laughs> ammunition. Wouldn't you know? Alright, so now we can go ahead and switch to said handgun. We have an extra spot for handgun ammunition, which is good. Also, another trick is if you want to waste the rounds just to collect a full clip, if for whatever reason you run out of room, you can do that as well. Oh, more TMP ammo. Okay, lovely. Now, the lovely thing for about this room is they kind of put this in here just as, you know, a gimmick. You don't ever actually use this, but if you wanted to, it acts like an incendiary grenade. But what was hidden is also a gem. So you want to remember that, hey, if there's something that looks like it shouldn't be there or anything like that, you go ahead and go ahead and collect it. Now we're going to find some boxes here in these little divots in the wall here. Um, let's see. That's a candle. That's a candle. Again, we're going to shoot this. If you don't shoot it, then these will not become visible. It's sort of a gimmick just to let you know that, hey, there's something here. As you can see, here's another treasure that showed up on our uh, treasure map, which I'll show here in just a minute. And you may be wondering why I don't rely on the treasure map a lot. It's because I have played this before. Again, PS2 and Wii version. Oh, you know what I was going to do, and I completely forgot. I'm going to fix the audio here. Um, hopefully this works. Okay, maybe you can hear me better now. If I'm super loud, you know, that's just the risk we'll have to take. But I, I noticed in the last week that my audio was down. Um, it was almost impossible to hear, and I do apologize for that. And for the beginning of this chapter, I do apologize for that as well. Hopefully, uh, you can hear me now. I'll try not to talk over cutscenes. Got something that might interest you. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Any luck with the blue medallions? Remember, shoot ten or more to get the specialized gun. Thank you. What are you selling? Get rid of this junk. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. We want to keep our grenades, because they are important to the level. Okay, black bass. Okay, I thought it was worth more, but you know, is that old? Twenty-three hundred pesetas isn't bad. We'll get rid of the mini one because it takes up three slots. I'd rather have a first aid or herbs, spinals. You can always sell spindles or whatever. Thank you. The ruby does not go into anything. Um, if it does, you know, you can go ahead and correct me. Again, these two are just standalone treasures. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. And the mask has three divots. So, like the beer stein here, it's a divot system, and we have to collect the gems that go into it. Now, let's what see what we got. Here. Again, we're stuck with our medium attache case. Not a big deal. I'm okay with that. Again, we're not using the TMP, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, what are you buying? And what I did find out from the last time is that I do, in fact, want to upgrade is that old? <laughs> both my shotgun. Is that old? <laughs> is that old? And we're not worried about the <laughs> Thank you. 
ammo glitch by you know upgrading capacity or reloading or whatever. Uh, we might when it comes to the magnum. As for the rifle, we're not going to keep it, so there's no point in upgrading it. And even if you upgrade, it does give a value upgrade, but what you're going to find out is that whatever you spend on it it'll be half of what you spent that you get back so we might as well just sell the rifle as what it was and not take that what hit. are you buying so uh... for the handgun you get an upgrade of critical once we get exclusive the shotgun just the standard shotgun uh... once you get the exclusive for that it has the same damage no matter what range it hits somebody so if you fire this from a mile away it'll still have the same damage as if they were like up close and personal with it which is good and a lot of people undervalue that because they either go with the striker for its large ammo capacity after the exclusive or the other shotgun which upgrades the power but again you have to stay close for that to be effective all right, and another thing, you can kill the merchant. You do not want to do this, however, because if you do kill the merchant, he will die at the location, and you will not be able to use him ever again in said location. And, you know, it's cool for, you know, just, you know, messing with your friends or whatever, if you wanted to put it on professional. If you put it on professional, if you kill the merchant at any time, you will never be able to shop throughout the rest of the game because the merchant will be dead at all locations. So, just remember that. And it's not really worth anything. You don't get to collect money. You don't get to collect ammunition or anything like that. And again, we're going to check the map just to show my point for the treasures because I forgot about that. But as you can see, dead center there, that was the elegant headdress. So, again, if you see a star, make sure that you get them. We're going to get this one behind the house, which I believe is another cat's eye. Um, if not, it is a gem for the elegant mask. And we're going to run into plenty of treasures over here. Uh, again, for the swamp area, and uh, we're going to run into some over there. I don't want to give away too much information because I think that may be next chapter stuff. If not, it'll be the end of this chapter. And again, once we enter the forest, we're going to enter into an area where there is a nest. So, make sure you're looking in trees. And again, this was not this was an off the map tree, but it had an overhang, so it dropped in the middle of the walkable the walkable terrain, the actual gameplay terrain and again that's five ml rounds so it doesn't matter even if I reload my rifle now it's not gonna help anything again with the birds though we're going to try and get them all with one blast um, I will not get too close but we want to aim up arc it throw it boom okay and all the birds are dead Unfortunately, what we also did was we woke up the zombie onto our right, but that's okay. We're more worried about uh, getting the collectibles from this area. Ooh, throwing the sickle. Okay. Hopefully we can get a two for one. Maybe not. Okay, again, try to use the knife whenever possible. It saves you ammunition, which we're going to need later. And as you can see, we have the blue medallions, which we're also going to shoot here. Um, and again, one of the perks of getting the note is that it shows the location of the medallion. So, oh my goodness, I am a terrible shot. Speaking of saving ammunition, if you do not want to shoot these or you want to take the minimal approach and just shoot the 10, that is okay by me. Uh, I would completely understand because there's no benefit to getting all 15. Um, I don't know if there's an achievement or anything in the Xbox 360 version. However, there is nothing for the Steam slash PC version, which I've seen. It's basically just game completion achievements, which is okay by me. Oh my goodness, I am, ugh, I am just terrible. I do apologize for that. 
Um, let's see, maybe we can get some yellow herbs. That would be good at this point. I think we're at a point where we should be getting some. Again, more rifle ammo, which is okay by me. We can have 15 and a 2, uh, two slot, I believe. Let's see. And these gravestones are actually going to be important later on. Uh, and we'll show you why. However, since I know what they are, and I know the trick to doing them, it's not too extremely difficult. Let's go ahead and check our map, because I feel like I'm missing a medallion behind a grave somewhere. Nope. Okay, got them all. Alright, so we can move on towards the house. Let me check my inventory, make sure I don't have a... I do have the brown chicken egg. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and use that then. Alright, perfect. Full health. Again, just... The eggs aren't important. Oh, my goodness. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. We want to make sure that we either get the stick of dynamite when we shoot that guy, or that he doesn't go anywhere until he explodes. Okay. Whew. Lucky me, I shot as he was throwing it, and it killed the guys that were around him. And again, that saved me ammunition and time. So, remember, if there's a dynamite stick and you see it beforehand, try to shoot it. If you want to group zombies together, I recommend using a shotgun instead of a pistol. Because um, it is vitally important. Now, I think there is a trick in Leon's game mode to where we can shoot this bell. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we can trigger more zombies to show up, I believe. Uh, maybe? Maybe not? I was waiting? Nobody? Oh, there they are. Okay, so yeah, they show up from behind. Uh, critical strike. Again, with the handgun, it is a higher critical strike ratio. And I may be, I, I may be incorrect on that, but... I think the standard, even before it's exclusive, has that gimmick to it to where you know you have critical headshots and all that and you know that's awesome and once we get the exclusive it will multiply that factor by five so every time I shoot one out of five bullets will go ahead and critical head strike just like that oh that was bad I again I was pressing space instead of E like it said in the trigger, but you know, that's okay. I'm okay with taking damage. Taking damage is actually a fairly smart move if you're trying to do inventory control, because you're going to run into ammunition and stuff like that that you want to keep. So, alright. Now, I'm going to I'm going to explain this puzzle back here, um, and we're going to go back. I already know the solution and everything, but just for the benefit of somebody who may or may not know. There we go. Again, dynamite stick saves you time. There you go. Uh, I think there was a gem. Oh, there it is. I uh, I looked at it and then looked down. Okay, that's 12 out of 15. We're almost there. We already have the 10, which is fine. Three family insignias of the dead ringers. It looks the dial only turns clockwise three or four increments. Okay, now, the Dead Ringers are actually a reference, and you saw the symbols on the dial. If you didn't, go ahead and go back and pause. You can go ahead and take a look. I kind of rushed through that a little bit, but that's, you know, something I did on an accent. Twins must be buried in this grave. The insignia is a little different. Maybe they're different from all the other graves. Um... Maybe they're different depending on the grave. Twins must be buried in this grave. This insignia is a little different. Maybe they're different from other graves. Again, the ringers is a plural of the twins. So the trick to that one was to know that A, it was referring to multiple people, and B, to realize that these were the graves of twins. So the, uh, the insignias to note are this first one here, which is 
what I like to call the S symbol. So S, then we have an M, or the leg spread, whatever you want to <laughs> refer to it as. I know some people who look at that and they're like, oh look, it's leg spread, blah, 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 blah. Okay, S, M, and V are the twin graves. So those are refer the referrals of the ringers. Uh, I believe there is another sign somewhere around here or a document or something that made note of this. I don't recall where it was, but there is that. And you actually do not have to solve um, this puzzle. However, for the gem, it is important because it is worth a lot of money. Okay, so apparently it's a Z on this one, but we're actually going to start with, let's see, we're going to go with three. We're going to do another three. And yet another three, I believe. Uh, let's see. I think I want to do four. So we got the M and the V. Um, if I do four again, will that get me where I want to go? Let's see. One, two, three, four is the V. And then four is the Z. And then three is the V again. So, yep. Okay. We want to do another four. We're going to do another four. And then the three. There we go. And now we have the green cat's eye. The green cat's eye goes in the beer stein. So, go ahead and examine. Markings in the scope is set in something, but what? Nevertheless, a rare gem. I believe it's worth 3,000 or so on its own, but we're going to combine it with the beer stein, give it some more value. So we are one step closer to having a full beer stein uh, to be sold. Because it only has three divots, and we have two gems. So very cool, very awesome. Let's make sure I don't have any minimal health items. Still have the first aid sprays, still have my full health um, herbs. We're good there. Right. Oh, uh, well, we can trigger this one of two ways. Um, if we go this way, Hunnigan will get mad and say, what are you doing? Let's go ahead and do that. Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh, well, yeah. Sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her. Hurry! So basically, it's just one of those <laughs> nods to like, Leon, weren't you paying attention? You have to go to the church. Now, what we're going to find out is it won't open. There's a round hole. Maybe something fits here. And we call Hunnigan again. Hunnigan, it's Leon. The door's locked. I can't get in. Didn't they teach you how to pick locks at the academy? Yeah. There's some sort of indentation, like something might fit inside. Well, there's no use standing around. Leon, you have to find some way or something to get inside. Now, as anybody knows, if this were a real-life scenario, you would not go in a manhunt for said indentation. Uh, I mean, you could find a ladder, make something out of these boards, whatever you wanted. And, you know, get to a window or something, you know, like, look at this window here, like, clearly, if this were not, like, um, a Photoshop image of, like, sort of just painted on there, because you can't affect it in any way, but if that were an actual window, you would have shot the window and climbed inside, there would have been no reason to go at, on this trip whatsoever, but... I, I, I'm going to cut that down to game mechanics. Again, we're dealing with what was a PS2 initially at the time. Or GameCube, depending on which version you got. And again, try to make sure that these dingbats don't throw anything at you because they will be accurate. Ow. Yeah, super accurate. And he pulls out another one. Tired of your shenanigans, get off my bridge. Okay. And again, not going to worry about the health, because we're actually going to come across another health item here in just a minute. Would you believe it? 
jumping over. We're actually going to do a 360. Uh, I guess with the mouse and keyboard it doesn't allow that, but there was a cool little maneuver where you could just go and then like turn around, but I guess it doesn't allow it. Yeah, so that's fine. Uh, we're going to read this note here. Closure of the church. Two fugitives, apprehension of Luis is our top priority. The American is the American agent is a distant second. Luis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. We must get it back to execute our plan and to the end. If it gets in the wrong hands, the world will become a totally different place than Lord Sadler has envisioned. At all costs, we mustn't let that happen. Nevertheless, we're not letting go of the girl to ensure that the agent does not get to her. We have locked the church door where the churl's girl's being head held. Anyone who needs access to the church must first get approval by Lord Sadler. There's a key beyond the lake, but it should be safe now that the del lago, or of the lake, is pretty much what that translates to. Like, really, of the lake. Like, that's the most inventive name they could come up with. Has awakened by our lord. No one will get across the lake alive. Uh, plus, our same blood courses through the agent's veins. It's just a matter of time before he joins us. Once he does, it'll be nobody else left. It'll be coming to look for the girl. And it's strange to assume that nobody else would be coming to... Oh, shit. I forgot about the snake. I'm a dummy. I, I actually... I, I called this out prior to this. I called that out. And I was like, oh, man, yeah, we're going to get a health item. And then I completely forgot to do the double knife. Uh, is the snake still in here? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. So, we're going to kill our snake friend here. We did take a little bit of damage, but it's no more than this is going to heal. So, yeah. See, we're actually in the green now versus the yellow. So, it didn't affect us really in a negative way. We actually got a positive versus the negative out of that. But again, when you come across those boxes and the snake's in there, don't be an idiot like me and remember to double knife. Uh, I believe this is the last medallion uh, if you're been paying attention. So when we meet our merchant friend, we're actually going to get a free gun. However, it is a gun that I do not like. It has no use to me. So we're just going to go with uh, what we got. Maybe this guy has something, so we're not going to push him off the bridge like we did the other fellow who was getting annoying with his axes. Thousand pesetas, okay. Entering the door. So again, this whole part is basically very unnecessary. For whatever reason, they put it in here just to kind of add extra depth to the village, I guess. Um, but for me, it just doesn't really do anything. I do not have a flash grenade for this area, which is sad because I really did want one. I think there is one in the shed here. I think a hand grenade will do just fine for this area, though, but watch me be proved wrong. So let's see how this goes. Okay, we did well. We got all of the crows taken care of. And again, this is important if you do not want these guys to fly away uh, that you have to keep your distance. Make sure you don't fire a pistol if you're too close because they will all scatter. Okay, we're down to a single regular grenade. Looks like our ammunition's running low. Our shotgun's pretty good, which is fine. Um, making some noises behind that wall. Again, just make sure to collect these treasures. There's going to be a new set of items here later, which is very different from other sections of this game. Um, because you will, you will come back to areas in certain locations and there will be items that return. And then other places that you return to, there won't be anything. So, you know, it's just very strange to me. And I think we do end with Del Lago. Um, so, you know, there is that. Again, just item collecting more gems. Again, it's always worth it to get the gems. They don't take up inventory space. They are counted as a treasure, so you don't have to worry about that whenever you come across one. 
and we're actually going to meet our merchant friend. Uh, as you can tell, he's marked off by a different door over here, which is fine. I don't think there's anything here. We're shooting the candle just in case. Because, uh, you know, you never know. Some of these torches slash candles like to drop um, gems or items or something of the like. As you can tell from our music, we're near a merchant. And hopefully you're able to hear me now. Like I said, I did adjust the settings for the audio, so maybe I'm super loud. Uh, and I do apologize, but I did want to make sure that I got that corrected. Because I was going to remind myself earlier, and it's just like, well, you know, I got a little uh, distracted. So, again, I'm feeling a lot better now. Feeling a lot more comfortable anyway. <sighs> got some rare... I see you sought a number of medallions. Like I promised, go claim the specialized gun and the buy screen. Don't worry about the money. This one's on the house. What are you buying? So he's giving us the Punisher, which has a higher base firepower at 1.1. Uh, firing speed's a little bit better, I believe. Um, nope, they're about the same. Okay. But the reload speed is better, too. Um, the capacity, even at the base, is all right. Uh, we're just going to take it. Um, we're not actually going to use it, like I said, but what we're going to do to make more money <laughs> Thank you. we're going to leave what and we're going to it? sell it back to him. And again, with a free gun, selling it back to him, you just made a 15,000 peseta profit. Because, <sighs> again, the handgun Thank exclusive you. is a lot better than the Punisher exclusive. And people go with the black tail again. That does have a higher attack power, but when it comes to critical shots, uh, it does a lot of benefit to, Is that old especially the yeah. Los Plagas <laughs> later. Um, and I'll make note of it when we get to that level. Um, what do you see if we can buying? tune up again? Just the rifle. Not really important. We aren't worried about upgrading the rifle now. We will come back to this area, and I might consider it. We're actually going to use the save point, just in case I'm wrong later on. Um, but, yeah, we're actually going to end up here later. And, as you can see with these fish, I could shoot the fish. I could shoot said fish. However, I would not be able to collect them at any time. So, it's kind of pointless to even bother with them. Otherwise, I would gladly go ahead and go in there and sell them. Alright, and probably... Oh. Okay, we have another candle. Maybe there is something in here. Nope, just a candle. Okay, very good. Uh, make sure there's nothing behind me. Gonna check my treasures map, make sure we haven't missed anything. I'm sure we haven't. Okay, we got the one behind the building. The next area will have one, and the following area, which looks to be a tree, will have one. And then we, uh... end up in a... Oops. In a strange, strange area. I wonder if I can adjust what that is. Page down? No. See, it's telling me to use insert to scroll back, but I don't actually. Oh, maybe. No. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, I could do that. Um, hold on. Let me try something one more time. Just because I want to, you know, mess around. I'm weird like that, I know. Uh, we're going to do front insert. There we go. Okay. See, there we go. Alright, so as you can see, in the next area, we're going to run across three, four treasures. Four treasures. Alright, very important to remember. Alright, uh, we do not want to go back. We're going to go through this door. And I apologize, because I, I know some speedrunners are like, man, this takes forever. And again, this is a treasure collection, so I'm more concerned about uh, getting all the items than time or accuracy or deaths. Uh, otherwise, I would be with you. Like, if I died, I'd be pissed. I'd load an old checkpoint, start over again. But we're not worried about that for this one. This is more of a guide uh, walkthrough. And I would love to have had a chat for, you know, st or Steam or whatever, to or st 
Twitch stream, but E3 is going on this week, so I don't want to mess with them. And again, we're going to trigger this event. Exit And you may be familiar with this event. This is the first trigger cutscene we had to deal with. Oh, there we go. Okay, good thing it uh, it didn't see me screw up there. Uh, yeah, I didn't screw up. Nope, nope, definitely didn't do the <laughs> mouse clicks versus the X and C. Now, had I done that on professional mode, it would have definitely uh, taken that into account and been like, nope, nope, we're not giving that to you. Just going to make sure we didn't miss anything. I don't think we did. I think this is just a route to run. Um, but again, just make sure. Make sure you collect all the items. And as you can tell, our base health is almost half of what its max could be, which I'm very proud of at the moment means we've been getting yellow herbs and using them. Sometimes when you're at full health you do not want to use the yellow herbs because you do have to combine it with a green herb. You cannot use a yellow herb on its own. Which is very sad. Hopefully he's close enough to this. He is! Alright. Uh, also, because we're dealing with the swampy area, if anybody's seen two best friends play, I know they skipped this area. And I know the reason why they wanted to do that. They were like, no, oh, it's not worth it, but there is actually a treasure in here. And, you know, if you haven't seen that, I mean, they just kind of rushed through this area. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this field to my advantage. Um, because I do not have to go out into the swamp and fight their game. I can actually just fight it from here and be perfectly fine. Some see it as a waste of ammunition. I do not. Because, uh, again, we get treasures. And that's what we're going for. Treasures. If this were a speed run, like I said, you could just run right through this area. No problems. Just make sure you avoid those bomb lines. As you can see, I was shooting one or two of them. Okay, it looks like these are the only two that were triggered so far. Um, again, that's good. You don't have to deal with too many people at one time. Uh, again, there's a reason I'm not shooting these yet, and that'll become apparent later on, um, because there are going to be other guys who are going to be triggered. Oh, yep, here we go. Okay, so we're going to quickly knife, knife. There, there's a snake. Like I said, uh, I actually could have used that, but... We're just going to collect these items in here and then run back out. Again, with the TMP ammo, useless ammunition, because I'm never going to use a TMP. Not once will I ever dare to acquire a TMP. Oh, man, there's a treasure down here. Um, I'm actually going to take this hit and go ahead and get it. Hand grenade. Well, it's free. I might as well take it, right? We're going to run underneath. Um... Depending on where my friend comes from, there's only two ways to get to me here. You either have to run through this line, or you have to come from behind. And I don't think he's coming from behind. I haven't seen anybody on the bridge. Oh, somebody triggered the explosive over here. Wherever they went, I'm not sure. Where they went. Oh, I hear running. Again, with this many guys up and close and personal, let's go ahead and use an incendiary grenade just to go ahead and get a use out of one. Otherwise, we will just end up selling those later. Um, Again. Just use the knife whenever possible. You can get multiple enemies with one melee strike, which is very good. Um, it's basically, if anybody's down, go ahead and use it. The music is still going, however. Uh, very strange. I'm looking... Oh, they're coming from behind. Okay, very interesting. Uh, here's what we're going to do for these guys. We're actually going to use a standard grenade, because we have two. Hmm. 
We actually used that grenade to knock the axe out of the air, which I am actually proud of. Uh, I wasn't sure if that was going to work, and I'm glad it did. Okay, critical head strike. Again, if you get the pistol exactly dead center on a person's face, it will actually give you a higher percentage of critical head strikes, which is very good. Um, however, getting those in a combat situation, especially in RE, is definitely very, very hard. Um, and somebody probably will go and investigate and be like, no, no, you're talking out your ass, but I find that if I aim dead center on a face, then their heads explode. So I'm just going to go with what I know, how I've played my experiences. Um, okay. These explosives, there shouldn't be anybody left unless they're further ahead. Um, okay, this nest is important. I believe this is our treasure here. Yes, the antique pipe. That was the treasure in this area. So, just remember that that's there. I think I triggered more people, um, which I'm okay with. I just have to figure out where they're coming from. I actually want to get up above here. Oh, hello, dude. Again, with the incendiary grenade. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is probably going to hit me, but I will take that hit. Okay. Whew. Okay, I was quick enough. Again, when you go into the inventory, it freezes gameplay, so you don't have to worry about it so much. Again, using the knife. Okay, somebody ran into the explosive up there. That's a free kill. And again, I note, I note the areas that the explosives are going off, so I know where the areas are that they are going. Again, use the egg for any minor healing you need done. Otherwise, you can just use a standard green herb if you have an extra one. I have combined two full health items, which is good and bad at the same time, because it really is a waste of a red and green combination for this level of... Leon, uh, for his health anyway, um, because he has very low health, and a standard medical uh, herb, a green herb, will do half the healing that he actually needs. Um, and if you combine two green herbs, it'll do full health, even though it says partial. Um, and that'll come into play later, because I'll explain that correctly, but... When you get to full health Leon, you definitely want the red and green herbs in case you get down to the level of the yellow or the red. And you'll see that changes and adjusts depending on Leon's health and level. Um, and I hate to call it that, but that's pretty much what it is. When you use a yellow herb, it is pretty much just another level for Leon. I think there's a few more zombies over here. Yep, I was correct. I could actually get him to trigger that, but it's a complicated process. I don't want to have to run all the way back. Uh, I'm just going to make it simple on myself. Again, not quite dead center. He did react to it, though. Give him a kick. Oh, yep, they're trying to dodge the gun. Again, trying to get it dead center on a head is almost impossible when they're moving. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, that was bad. Give him a kick. Maybe he dies, maybe not. Nope, he's not dead yet. Um, and I don't think there's anything that makes the melee stronger, which what I would have liked to see, because... Uh, maybe uh, a new herb, like a blue herb, strengthens your melee for certain enemies or whatever. Again, another snake. Oh, I knifed him. Okay. I guess that uh, didn't count. Oh, he's running away. We don't want to get to, to the lake, though, because if he does, then I will completely miss where he went. Snake, where'd you go? Oh, there he is. Hiding in the grass. And again, you can just blame that on my terrible shooting. <sighs> oh, there's two snakes. Okay, very impressive. I did not know there was a second snake. So we're going to eat the brown egg. 
Uh, we're gonna keep the regular chicken egg. The regular chicken egg basically is a very minuscule, very, very minuscule health aid, and again, for the early stages, they're kind of the only health that you want to use unless you have a yellow herb and a green herb combination. Um, again, with the combinations, uh, your health bar will increase every time you use a yellow green herb combination, but again, it's tricky to understand when and when not to use those. Again, we're going to check the map, make sure we got our treasure. We did. It was the antique pipe. Coming into the end of the chapter, a very important part of this uh, whole escapade is probably the most difficult part if you're unfamiliar with how the process works. Because uh, it's a new mechanic. Um, you basically get your first infinite ammo item that you, or infinite ammo weapon that you keep for almost ever. So we're going to observe and see what's going on out in the lake. Tell that is our other police friend who was in the vehicle in the beginning of chapter 1 1. Very dead. Very, very dead. And that was Del Lago, uh, or of the lake, in uh, if you're not a Spanish speaker. Um, and even my uh, even my <laughs> interpretation of it may be incorrect, but I believe that is correct. Del of the Lago, it's just lake. So, all right, and a treasure which is easy to forget because it is also in a nest. Again, I cannot stress that enough. Make sure you check the nests. We have the gold bangle with pearls. A very 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 expensive treasure. Again, most of them are worth 10,000. I believe it is also the same, if not a little bit more, because of the pearls. Alright, we're getting a yellow herb. As you know, I do not have any green herbs, but I will combine it with one of my red and green herbs. So that will be the first one I use if I am in a desperate situation, which may come up fairly soon. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, we don't have to worry about that quite yet. Um, and I'll have to remember that if I get to a <laughs> point later on where I find another yellow herb and I still haven't used that one, then yeah, I definitely want to use at least one of those. Ah, oh, shit, and I just got a green herb. Would you not believe that? Would you believe that? Alright, and just so we do not make a mistake here, we're going to save over here. And again, for stream purposes, I have that first save up there if we have to go back and do a full playthrough in a stream. If anybody wants in the chat, you know, just leave a comment, like, whatever. Let me know any games you want to see played. We can do that, too. Alright. Now, as you can see, there are fish out here. And while getting fish is probably one of the more mediocre things to do. You can get these later. Um, I'm actually not going to trigger this cutscene, uh, but if anybody knows what I'm talking about, if you try to shoot the fish, if you shoot a certain number of bullets, Del Lago will come out of the lake and eat you from the deck. Or from the dock, I'm sorry. Deck, dock, whatever. Which is uh, not fun. So the point of this is just to get across the lake. As we saw, Del Lago is in here, though.
tell, we're being dragged around the lake by Del Lago. What we want to do is try to avoid these tree stumps, if at all possible, because otherwise we will get knocked over the boat. Uh, he's going to come up. Oh, I got knocked out anyway. Okay, that's fine. And again, the lower your health is, the harder it is to get back to the boat. And basically what we want to do is try to get as many spheres as we can into him, but it is tricky! Because there's a lot of times he will try to run into a stump. Okay, and actually while we're in a freeze here, this will give me an excuse to increase my health anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. Like I said, probably the point where I wanted to do that. I'm not talking a lot in this part because this is very difficult because you have to keep track of where he's going and yeah avoid these stumps if at all possible now again you can just guide those with the regular control schemes oh man oh man I'm in trouble yep okay I guess this is from Del Lago's perspective. I wasn't familiar with that. Okay. Now I'm not sure if this is based on hits or if this is based on time. If it's based on time, that would be cool. Um, ah, shoot. Again, with these mouse controls, it's a little tricky to aim. Now, I know that seems a little counterintuitive for this type of game, but it really is difficult to aim. And I'm probably going to be a lot worse off than what I normally would be on, say, like a pl PlayStation 2 Wii or Xbox 360 controller. Nope, I'm aiming way off to the right. I missed two shots there, which is heavily disappointing even for me. And just before we get into trouble, I'm going to use this egg. Heal me up just a slight amount. Again, he's going to look like a porcupine for a certain amount of time. Ugh, in the water. Ooh, that was close. As you can see, I nearly skated away from that, but... got around the stumps. Okay, very good. It's it's difficult when he goes one direction and you try to go another. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, he got me there. Okay. Because he's going diagonal now and it's making it very difficult. Okay. Whew. Man, that took a lot longer than it should have. I should have only gone through like two sequences of what I did there. Let's see what the cut option is here. Tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. Okay, it's X. Okay, that's fine with me. Boom! Done. Alright, and Del Lago has died. It is a dead fish, or whatever the hell it is. It looked like a giant salamander, to be honest. And how you get him that big, I'll never know. 
And I think this is the end of the chapter here, so we're just gonna go into cutscenes and enjoy them. As we can see, Leon collapsed from his Las Plagas infection. My hit ratio for that chapter was 79%. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I didn't die. You know, that's that's very good. So I'm glad we got a clean run of at least chapter 1-3. Uh, chapter 1-1 one, one, and 1-2 one, were mistakes on my part. I should have thought about it ahead of time because at this point I'm used to playing playthroughs where I've already finished. Uh, so my reload times are a lot less than what they were before and you know I'm probably just making excuses just to appease you but there is that so again we're gonna save and that'll be the end of this recording please overwrite that data okay and that's it